dead. Dead. Hello everyone and welcome to a new video on this Godforsaken channel and today we're going to be doing an album review, not a YouTube review, on the debut album of Wolf Guy, Altered Beast. Wolf Guy is this absolutely mental project coming out of the UK making digital hardcore and cyber grind. Not usually my type of genres but it does the job like coming like out of Atari, Teenage Riot, Machine Girl, shit like that, good shit like that. And um, yeah. Uh, his first two EPs were absolutely amazing, so I cannot wait to get my hands on this absolutely amazing album. But does it stand up for it to be an amazing? Um, yeah, if it, it bloody does, and it's a bloody head rush. Sound palette and atmospheres of this album are apocalyptic and nihilistic. It speaks about all of these gritty subjects like religion, the occult, uh, war crimes, breaking of the Geneva Convention, and how the dark web exists and shit like that. A lot of dark subjects to meet with this gritty, atmospheric and apocalyptic sound palette that this brings. A lot of crusty and heavy, piercing synths and drums mixed with these absolutely dirty bass lines that just evolve into this mass of just bassy, crusty goodness. It's amazing. Vocals on this album might be mixed a bit too quiet, which um, is quite the major downside of this album because the vocals are kind of versatile and it's got a very good performance. It brings a lot of energy and a lot of anger and screechiness. He really uses the back of that fucking epiglottis, you know what I mean? That uvula's going... Lee -lee -lee. Track listing on this album is alright, it does the job, it's not like the Avalanches, but you know, this is the complete opposite sound of the Avalanches, but uh, it really shows what you're getting into on the intro track, it starts off with a massive wall of metallic grinding noise, and then all of a sudden explodes into this massive wall of shrieking vocals, massive bass, piercing synths and hi-hats. Uh, with these little chip tune passages, it just progresses on, and it's a lovely intro to an album. In it, it's one of the best this year so far. On the second track, Keta offers the most catchiest, the meanest guitar rift on the entire album. Like it sounds like it's from a classic Doom game. It's so bloody good, and these little breakdowns where the drums are focused and singulared on offers a lot more intensity and build up. It's a good moshing song, but I'm a scared of moshing. But I can imagine a lot of a mosh to this because it goes absolutely mental and yeah for its one time it is packed it is like it's quite short but it's packed and then we move on to lethal dose which is personally my least favorite track on the album i think there's a lot of stuff going on there a lot of uh things that aren't really emulsifying and cohesing enough like there's like this really glitchy and tacky bass line mixed in with these decent arpeggiating syncs which don't really fit into the entire atmosphere of the song, but then it moves on to surface level nightmares, which kind of feels like the riff is from uh, Rise Above by The Black Flag. It's a classic metal song, and uh, it's a good thing to take inspiration from that. And this song is all about the deep web and how there is twats on the deep web selling shit and being pricks and pretending to be pedophiles and stuff. And uh, it just uses a dial-up modem, which is very ingenuity. I don't know what the word is. Ingenuity is. I made up a word, and um, yeah, it's a really, it's one of the highlights on the album. I think it's really good, and uh, yeah, it's solid. The atmosphere there is perfect, and it later on in the track it brings in these doo -doo, doo -doo, these. It's, what can I say? It's a fucking good song. Personally, the best track on the album arrives. Go go go! This track is packed to the brim of these different uh, twisting and contorting drums that are rapid and sometimes even glistening there so good and the bass line just follows on through this entire song with its gritty and chunkiness and skittishness it's like a bloody Yorkie it's so chunky and uh, the chorus is catchy as fuck when you listen to it I think this is like like danceable it's so good like not moshing but danceable and uh in the chorus, these metallic 
screeches and uh, happen like every bar. I think it brings a good consistency to this chorus, and it just it just shoots on through. It's bloody uh, it's it's fantastic, absolutely. Um, ab I'm always going to say it, but absolutely amazing job. Second half of the album, I'm not really a big fan of as the first half, but it does offer some good points and good sounds. Uh, Devil, I think it's a bit lacklustre. I, I don't think it offers as much as a presence as the other tracks, but um, it's there and it still does its job. It's good. But then the track Blood Harvester is a very nice and quite interesting track. It offers, in the intro, it offers these uh, bloops and bleeps, which are quite off tone and off kilter. It offers quite a scary and ominous vibe to this wall of cluttered bass and sound and screeching vocals then all of a sudden this massive build up of this introduction of this monolithic synth line happens and it's very the synth line is very menacing it's very enjoyable and uh, it just continues to go on as this massive wall of digital hardcore goodness and then Necromorph I know I think it's another lackluster and weak track um, I, I'm not really a fan of how filler the uh, the slowdown or the ending is, I think it's a bit, um, I think it's a bit drab in a way, but it, it's an all right track, you know what I mean? And the last leg, it's pretty solid. Kill the Sheep is basically a better version of Devil. More of these glitchy guitars, a very simple rift as well. I think a Wolf Guy offers his best vocal performance on here as well. Really guttural and screeching. It's very empowering almost. And then, uh, Bastard! Oh my lord! I forgot! It's me! I did a partial synth on this track. I did the incident. Uh, obviously, Wolf Guy uh, put on his little fucking. Uh, uh, fingers and grace this shit with his uh, uh, goodness of editing and mastering and shit like that. But then the track, the la final track, it ends on a fucking corker, uh, the self titled Altered Beast. It just sounds incredible. The sampled uh, Altered Beast game uh, pitched down and uses these beautiful arpeggios. It just sounds really menacing in this obviously claustrophobic bass and cr nihilistic crustiness. I just... In conclusion, aside from a, a, some lacklustre and some messy and one messy track, this album is still very solid. It is deserve a listen, especially for a debut album. Wolf Guy has packed a lot of content and effort into this, and you know he deserves a lot more credit. Uh, please check out this album yourself. It will be linked in the description. At the end of the day, I'm giving this a fucking eight. Kinell Bangatronic four thousand. It is sick. Um, thank you so much for watching, and, uh, yeah. Hello everybody, this is Kadavy from the Kadavy YouTube channel on Kadavy on the same. Make sure to follow Johnny, my video, be from Instagram.com.